All right, so today I'm going to show you the finished Control Bridge Quattro. Uh, it is, what is the Control Bridge? It's a device, let me take the top off here. It's a device that has four different chips on it, and they're all connected to each other uh, via two-wire bus. There's a serial interface, and then four serial ports. I'm only using three. And basically, each of these chips has a serial port on it, and is connected to a different device. So I've got one that goes down to my Lumagen that tells me everything I need to know about the video that's um, playing on my theater screen. And then I've got another one going to uh, my Lutron serial bridge, which connects to my graphic eye uh, for all of the lighting controls. And then I've got another one that goes here to the Somfy wireless bridge. What this does is it controls the masking so I have these roller shade motors on either side of my screen and it controls the masking so that um, I can adjust the size of the actual screen and so all of these uh, they listen to the outputs that um, are coming from these devices and um, then they'll relay messages and commands to do different things based on the inputs and outputs so for example um, the one that's listening to my Lumagen video, I've got it set up so that uh, whenever the frame rate of the video that's playing changes from uh, 60 hertz, which, you know, the Apple TV menu, for example, is a 60 hertz uh, video feed. When it changes to 24 hertz, um, what will happen is that it will dim the lights. And then likewise, uh, it will detect the size of the video that's being played and it will adjust the screen masking to match. A um, couple of other things. When it gets the message from the Lutron bridge that I've pushed certain buttons on the graphic eye uh, lighting control, it will also change the masking um, and just things like that. So let's see how it works. Okay, so I've got this little display here and it has a screensaver um, because I don't want to burn out the uh, LEDs on the screen. Um, but it will tell us what's going on when it detects a change. So, for example, if I change the lighting control here, let's say, let's go all off. So now it's, you see it says lights are dark. So it'll show us what's going on for a few seconds, and then the screen will dim. And uh, it's hard to pick up because it's so dark here. But we'll try a few things. So I'm going to turn the lights up. You see it went all on. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, watch a movie. Let's see what we got here. Let's, for example, let's go to Justice League. Um, so this is famously uh, 4x3 because it's meant for IMAX, um, which is a really odd um, aspect ratio these days. Let's see what happens. So we saw the lights turn down, and as soon as the video comes on, hopefully it will detect that it's 4x3. So the masking is moving, and now we can watch our 4x3. And you notice the lights turned off as well. So now I'm going to exit to the Apple TV menu and the light should come up and the mask is changing to the Apple TV is 16 by 9 and it takes a second for my projector to actually um, yeah, synchronize the video so now let's go to a widescreen movie um, So, I don't know, I guess I'll just pick the first one on the list. So again, when the frame rate changes, that triggers the lights to turn down. And then it takes a second for the video to actually start playing. 
and then for the Lumagen to detect the actual aspect ratio, you can see the aspect ratio is changing, and then boom, we've got our widescreen. So I think it's pretty cool. Exit here. So you can imagine that I could program all sorts of different automations for the various things. So I also want to show one more thing. So walk over here, I've got my graphic eye, and I've got a frame uh, faceplate in black that's coming. I think that will look a lot nicer. But these buttons here, I'm going to get laser engraved with the different aspect ratios. And you can see I've got it set up so that um, if I press this button, goes all the way up to 4x3, and if I press this button, it goes back to 16x9, and if I press this button, it goes all the way up to CinemaScope, and then when I leave the room, uh, I turn off all the lights, and then it actually changes all the way down to 4x3, and that's just to uh, protect the screen, and uh, the masking has springs that um, will be under less tension if it's closed, so pretty cool, I think. And again, that's uh, coming through this Lutron serial bus here. So these cables actually go through the wall all the way over to the graphic eye, and they have wireless adapters as well, um, and then the serial. I've also got an extra serial port here in case I want to connect something else, like maybe my projector. Um, but yeah, had a lot of fun making this project and uh, hope you enjoyed watching it and maybe you can build something like this and uh, show us what it looks like.